Welcome back to another video. This is the fifth video, I believe, in this Xero training course or Xero tutorial. In the previous videos, I've shown you how to add your organization details. I've shown you how to create a contact, how to make that contact a customer by raising a sales invoice to that contact and also how to edit contact details. Now we're going to do pretty much the same thing but for a supplier. So we're going to add a contact then record a supplier invoice against that contact so they become a supplier and I'll also show you how to edit the supplier details. So once again let's go to contacts just as we did before when we wanted to create a contact for a customer. You'll be taken to the contact screen, click add contact. You'll then be taken to the add contact screen. Now this is exactly the same as it was before. So let's add in our contact, the contact name. I'll just put anything in. the account number if you have an account number with this supplier the contact at the supplier let's just put my name in it's the primary person you use to contact at this business their email address you can add another person just as before you can add two other people if you want to phone numbers a fax number a mobile number a direct dial a Skype name or number the suppliers website the supplier's postal address and street address. Once again, if these are the same, just click same as postal address and it will copy what's up here and put it down here. Now I am skipping through this and going through this fairly quickly. But we've already been through this when we added a contact for customer purposes. Financial details, once again, sales settings, purchase settings, if you want tax inclusive or tax exclusive. VAT details, payment due terms. So for this one, let's say the supplier offers us terms that are the 15th of the following month. And then let's just click save and that contact will be added. And once again, we get this confirmation box once again we get this confirmation box that the contact has been added we can add another contact if we wish or we can edit that contact and we're in the contact record now if i'm going too fast for you or you've joined the tutorial on this video then go back to the beginning because i cover this in a lot more detail when i add a contact the first time and i explain a lot more about all these boxes and what's going on. So we've added a contact that we're going to use for a supplier. So in the next video I will show you how to record a supplier invoice which will make this contact become a supplier. 